Are you feeling exhausted from spending hours recreating websites from scratch? Or eyeing a particular site you adore and wouldn't mind replicating and tweaking? Well, we've got some exciting news for you. In this video, we'll show you how to clone any website to Elementor Editor. For a demonstration, we would clone this website into native Elementor. You'll be amazed at how easy and quick it is to recreate a website that looks like the original. As in my ClonWebs project dashboard, click on Add New Project to get started. Then assign a specific name for your project. In the next input, fill out aimed source domain. For example, capture the main part of this source domain link. After that, paste it into the second box. In the next stage, access your target page. Scroll down to the end of that page, you know. It is a required thing to make sure all elements have loaded. After that, click on our Chrome extension and choose your appropriate project. If you encounter any issue after adding page, try it again with this feature. Now, I will choose my latest project for this page. A redirect tab will be created and simulated to the target page to clone Web's website. A control panel promptly materializes, enabling you to adjust parameters through it. Use our selector to choose your element or section and export it. Just waiting for seconds and move to your Elementor editor. Right click and select paste from other site. Then confirm the paste action by pressing either Command V or Control V. Boom, here you go. You can easily edit the content or add more functionality for these copied elements. Let's clone the next section. This pricing plan looks like more challenge. Similar way, just right-click and choose second option. As you can see, the result got more than 80% compared with original. Take a note that our tool just transferred to a static format, it does not copy dynamic features. It cannot replace all the function, users still need to customize elements. But you can quickly cover this one by add-ons or widgets. Let's copy one more selection. Similarly, fill out your selector and click export it. One again, just paste it to your staging. You can edit appropriate width to get the best result. A 
full width is the best choice. With this usual process, the images are embedding the links from original site. You need to replace manually them or add one more step to automatically upload to your server. In WP Dashboard, access Softlight section. Enable the pop-up feature in setting. After loading your staging, you will see a pop-up icon in the bottom right. Before pasting data directly to your staging, you can upload images to server by this pop-up. Focus carefully on my demonstration. Everything you just need to add one more step in our pop-up to upload images. If you click into the image widget, you'll recognize the difference. Images auto-uploaded to your media. While it's not the perfect solution, it's certainly an improvement over doing it manually. Right now, I'll check the responsive devices and let's see how it works. It looks impressive on the desktop, right? Let's see the result in tablet and mobile devices. This feature is available in Pro version of our tool. As you can see, elements automatically arrange corresponding to tablet and mobile devices. Not only for Elementor, you can transfer websites into multiple page builders. In Elementor, we advise cloning individual sections rather than entire pages. This is because Elementor's core functionality may not be as robust as that of other page builders. You still clone one one time by typing body in selection. When the data is large enough, it automatically transfer into a JSON file. Then you can use it as an Elementor template. I hope that this tool will help you push your deadline speed and optimize tasks.